Ayo, who remembers Peyton Hillis? He was on the cover of Madden 12 and definitely got the Madden curse. It was a nationwide vote and it came down to Vic or him and he ended up winning. Anyways, let's talk about this absolute beast. He's 6'2", 250. Calling him a unit is an understatement. He was super athletic and could hurdle anyone. He grew up in Arkansas and signed with the University of Arkansas. He was an elite fullback. In 2008, he was drafted by the Denver Broncos in the seventh round. In his rookie year, after literally every running back on the team got injured, he came in against the Browns and had a couple nice runs. After his second season with the Broncos, he was traded to the Browns for Brady Quinn and some picks. His first season with the Browns is the one that made him a superstar. Nah, for real, this dude could not be stopped. He was just way too violent and he always broke the first tackle. That first season, he had 1,200 yards rushing and 11 touchdowns. He also had 500 yards receiving and two touchdown catches. The following season, he didn't even have half the production and he had hamstring issues. He actually hurt his hamstring twice during that season. In his rookie year with the Broncos, he tore his hamstring, so I guess that was the beast's Achilles heel. At the end of the day, in his prime, he was really just exciting to watch. He broke a lot of tackles and could pretty much do everything. He had surprisingly good hands. Like, look at this one-handed catcher with the left. Okay, Peyton Hillis, I see you. Despite always dropping his pads, this dude was really smart too. He scored 45 out of 50 on his Wonderlick test. The average score for a quarterback is 25. His score was unreal. In recent news, he also became an actor. He was a lead in the horror movie The Hunting. Apparently, he really can just do everything, but the Madden curse definitely did him dirty. After only two years with the Browns, he spent one year with the Chiefs and two years with the Giants. He only had a seven-year NFL career, but he hurt a lot of dudes in the process. Imagine trying to tackle this dude on your own? No thanks. He retired because of his concussion history, and watching this film, you can clearly see why. Dude was an actual menace.